Welcome, everybody, to Circle Back to You with Patsy Quiet. How you doing, Patsy? I'm super. You know, every day is a sunshine day, no matter where you are and where you at. That is true. So Patsy is a resilience therapist joining us from Malaysia. I would love to send the tropical vibe from the ocean across the breeze to everyone, no matter where you are and where you at now. Breathe in, breathe out. Thank you. Thank you so much. So Patsy, what are we going to talk about today? Well, I would love to just cover us a little bit more about the parenting because I've been working with a lot of children and I believe a lot of parents, they are struggle but not suffer. How to connect with their children emotionally state. Is that cool? Okay. I use the word connect and not control because children are not mean to be like controlled by like a remote control. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> I know this is quite funny. Most of the, you know, most of the parents come and tell me, Patsy, you are my painkiller. You know, you're like my Advil. And I say, you know what? Just make it easy because we want to work wiser with the children and not to put yourself so harder, you know, from whatever situation. Children is just children, right? And don't ever manipulate all the children's mind. That doesn't work. This is why I said we try to connect them emotionally, mentally, but not control. They are not mean to be like having a control remote. Sit, eat, play. <laughs> it doesn't work in that way. Come on. I'm so sorry. You know, this is really coming from my heart and coming from my experience. Got it? <laughs> the next thing I want to talk about is I understand most of the parents, you know, you are a fully full-time job mom or dad and maybe you are holding a high position you know in all the MNC company CEO or C level or you know or executive level or whatever level you are in the office but when we are home please just remove the title because the title will become back to what you are dad and mom okay the children don't know whether you are a CEO or you're a CEO or you're a CFO so when we want to build a good conversation and not a discussion with the children, I think most of the time, you know, most of the parents, even myself, you know, when I was in the old days, right? If we carry a lot of title from the office and then when we got home, when we talk to the children, we might think I'm in the C level. Okay. The conversation and the discussion is totally different. Why? For example, a lot of children just think like, oh my goodness, my mom and my dad never, never have time for me. They are super duper busy. The children will have that kind of concept because dad and mom always on the phone, always on the computer. So where is attention span? The love is come from quality time. The love is coming from attention spending. I, I'm not talking in, you know, just as children. As long as we're human, we need that. Even look at a dog. Okay? <laughs> right? So, I would like to say, we want to make a magical conversation, sensible, and connection with the children, not to bring in the tonality to the children. Hey, you do it. Hey, babe, it's your homework time. How about we can say it, you know, I understand, you know, during the pandemic time or maybe after the, you know, the time of the pandemic, right? You know, most of the parents are so busy, they don't even have time. Maybe they have time, like, you know, sometimes they go to all the, you know, homework, checking out, you know, see whether they're doing well. But this is just a suggestion. You don't have to take it, okay? But it's just a suggestion for all of us to think about it. Parenting is not just one way street. This is more into the mutual relationship. So when you are so busy, you can talk to the children. Hey, you know what, babe, mom and I, mom, I'm a mom, you and I, we can have like a project section. You do your homework and I'm here, I'm still doing my project. And the children will feel like the companionship. 
you know what? Sometimes the moment is not just like, mom, even you're so far, but you are just beside me. The energy connected, the emotionally connected, the mental state connected, the physical also connected. Are you all with me here? Even we don't say it. But the presence. Why people go and adopt a dog? Even a dog does not really voice or talk. Right? Because we feel it. We are all coming from a sensory system. We sense things. And the children too. Children are the most pure soul on the earth. They're all God's children. The sense. When they see, they know. When they do, they understand. So coming back, I would just say, you know, I, I in this in these past 10 years, you know, most of the parents would just ask me, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do that, right? I come back to a simple word. Love, love, love. I think in this society, I'm not talking about in any other country, most of the children are facing ADHD, a lot. And I am trying very hard to how to fight you from the sensory sense, the sensory system and get them back to align and be grounded and just get focused. But with your help as a mom or dad or caregiver, you will help me a ton. ADHD basically Besides having some neuron, you know, in their brainwave and anything. But most important, I just want to share this very, very good tips. It's coming from lack of attention. This is why ADHD it becomes. I'm very honored to be here. And I have to say, most of the children, not only from the mother's side or the parents' side, but the children come to me. Well, I receive most of the complaint from the children. They always tell me. My mom and my dad love to compare me with other children. Mm -hmm. That is a red flag. Who wants to be judged? Who wants to be compared? Right? So I have to say it. If you ever ask me, you know, just for three little tips today, I would love to give all of you here. Number one, I will tell the children or maybe from the mother or the father as a caregiver to let the children never ever take that as a personal. If anything happened in a school or friends being attacked, never ever take that issue as a personal attack. Once we have I, me, myself, we have those that are, oh my goodness, it's a big deal. I'm trying to decrease the I, me, myself, it's not like not important. It's not about, you know, the disgrace about the, the self-esteem. But we want to just emphasize this is general, you know, this is general issue, you know, happen everywhere. So the children will have the kind of like, oh, this is not so bad for me. So I would, I would just let the children know, you know, never take it so personal if anything happened. So they know that, okay, this is not amplify everything, like the whole thing, it's just, a, you know, the whole spot, oh my goodness, that's like big issue for them, right? And then number two, the same thing, back to the mom and dad, I would say, please ever, never, ever try not to compare their children to other children. They're all unique. Does it make sense? And number three, the children will say, Please just listen to me. Listen to their voice. Even sometimes they do not, they are very vulnerable. They do not really voice it out. But it doesn't mean that they don't talk. So I think coming back, you know, I, I think this is very funny uh, because, you know, coming back to the big data and you know, artificial intelligence, they talk a lot about deep learning. And being as a psychotherapist, or spiritual psychologist, you know, from my perspective, I'm getting to deep listening. I would like to share more about this, but maybe because, you know, I will catch up with all of you soon and just connect with Jason 
if you're interested to come to my workshop or go into more expo to this journey with me, please connect Jason. We will get it more sorted out because you know what? This is live cases. This is a live case study. Every day is for us to adopt the new changes. We are here to learn. We are here to explore and we are here to experience and we are here to embrace. We are not even judging the parent's side. We are here to learn from the children and the children also learn from us. So it's a mutual way. My friends, you guys are so beautiful because I see life is beautiful and we can build again. And I heard so many justice voices out there, but with your help, with your love, I believe we can do it together. I'm sending my love to you all. And even with my singing bowl today, it just clear all the energy and sending my love, my peace from Malaysia, the sunshine every single day to all of you. I love you all. I stand with the peace and the peace with be all with you. Thank you very much for having me here. I'm very, very delighted. Thank you so much, Patsy, for that beautiful message and uh, wonderful advice for parents. We will be back next week at the same time. Take care. Thank you.